This is week number three for Terry. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is another one of our live coaching sessions for our slimmers who are trying to lose a stone in the six week course. And welcome Terry everyone. Hello. <laughs> and Terry are twinning today wearing our pink hoodies, aren't we? <laughs> Apart from Terry's in the kitchen, what are you cooking? At the minute, I'm actually doing the kids' hot dogs, and then oh, I'm yeah. going to have a Slim and World um, Diet Coke chicken thing. Oh, great. That sounds good. I like that one. Right. So what is the update this week? What's the news? Uh, I lost three pounds. Oh, wow. Fantastic. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah, it's really good. So the good news is we're almost halfway there, and it's only, we've only finished two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really great. So one more next week and then you'll get your half stone certificate. So we're on target. Yeah. And how's your week been generally this week? Uh, it's not been bad, obviously. I had my, like, I'll say mega treat Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then yesterday I had a car free. So I don't think I planned. I didn't like eat all day and both days. And I was all right. Uh, I think I did all right. Right, let's have a little look through your food diary. Yeah. So the only thing in there today is one of the satsumas. Yeah. Is that all you've had so far? Yeah. Why? I've just been busy. And were you at work last night? No. No, I wasn't, no. Okay. Right, so what are you having for tea? You have a Slimming World chicken? Yeah, Diet Coke chicken. I was thinking to put some rice with it. Okay, fab. Right, I'm just going through your food diary. There's nothing in for yesterday or Sunday. No, because obviously they were my poor days and I, I didn't know how to track them. So yesterday, was your mum's birthday, was it? It was my mum and laws Okay, and where did you go for dinner? Cherry tree. Oh, lovely. <laughs> did you just have carvery? Yes. And what size did you have? I had a large, but I only had half. Okay, great. So my big tip is to have the small. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is it cheaper, but to be honest with you, as long as you're putting loads of vegetables on there, yeah, that's what I filled it well. with. Yeah. Yeah. I left, uh, I was gutted because I left most of my meat behind. And they left half my Yorkshire pudding. So I was quite gutted, actually. Oh. So I'm going to say best to last. <laughs> right. But I got too full. So definitely have the small next time, and that way you'll get to eat the best bits as well. Yeah, definitely. The kids are ravenous for hot dogs, aren't they? They are. They're wanting the hot dogs. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <Hello>. Hi. <laughs> I'm coming round for hot dogs. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, yeah. I right, go down for a minute. Let mommy do these. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, okay. mm. <laughs> You're what, right, Vinny. What treat did you have on Sunday? Sunday, I went to Wingwa. Oh, yes. I remember you saying. <laughs> so you've done really well then to lose three pounds this week. Yeah. I'm well impressed with that. Well, to be fair, I think everyone I was with had like five plates at Wingwa and I could only manage a starter main and a dessert, but the dessert I normally go like to town on and I couldn't even eat all of that. And do you think it's just because you've been eating better that your your stomach maybe has shrunk a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. What items did you go for at Wingwa's? Um... The starter, I had like, I think I had one chicken ball. I had like the duck pancake thing. Yeah. Um, what else was it? It was like little chicken bites. It was mainly like chickeny bits, I think. Yeah. Um, and the vegetable spring roll bit, I had them. And then the main, I had chicken chow main, the Singapore noodle one. And a little bit of chicken curry. So it was many old, it was many old chicken bits. Yeah. Great. 
And then obviously the dessert, I did have a bit of chocolate fountain and a bowl of ice cream. I literally bought like, literally had like every single piece of cake you could imagine, but then didn't touch them. So they were really pissed off at me when they took it away. <laughs> oh, well, well done, Terry. Right, let's just go through quickly uh, some of the entries in your food diary. So yeah. last week, Saturday, uh, bacon and eggs with mushrooms for lunch. Yep. Um, and then, sorry, that was for dinner. In the evening, because uh, obviously you're on night shift, this is why it looks like this. It was a ham salad with some beef salad cream. Was that just a salad in the night? Yeah, so basically, like, at work, they started to serve us, like, dinners. So you can either choose to have their hot dinners or you have, like, a salad or you can have, like, a sandwich and a bag of crisps. So I, I just keep picking the salad with ham because it's Great. easier because I don't know what hot dinners they do and obviously it'll be filled with all of the stuff that they give to residents. So I was like, I'll leave that out. Yeah. Oh, no, well done. That's a good choice. Yes, yeah, so I've had, you'll see there's a pattern. I've had it pretty much every night on night shift. Right, so on Friday you had uh, meatballs with pasta. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, the same salad on the night shift. On the Thursday you had uh, cod with Slimming World chips and garden peas. Yeah. The salad in the evening. Uh, Wednesday, Weetabix in the morning and then a gammon steak uh, with veg in the evening and a Yorkshire pudding. And then last Tuesday was Weetabix in the morning, uh, lunchtime, a jacket potato with tuna, and then the evening, um, it looks like you made a curry, did you? I did, yeah. Fantastic. Great. So overall, you've definitely not deprived yourself this week. You know, you've had a, quite a few nice things there. Yeah. What do you think the main thing is? Just the fact that you've gone on to salads at night? Is that been the biggest change? I'd say so, because obviously on night shifts, I normally like snack from like the fridge or whatever. And I'll have like, I'll have like a cup of tea and biscuits or I w was drinking like apple juice and everything. So I've stopped doing that. I've just drank water all night or I'll have a cup of tea maybe once in the night. But that's it. Fantastic. This is so good. I'm really pleased with you, your progress. So that's fantastic. Thank you. And any challenges coming up for this week? Um, I don't think so. There's no uh, wing wars this week. No, no. <laughs> that's been planned for like... You know what, it's like adult life, that's been planned for about three months and never oh, happened, yeah. and, then, and then it's just happened out the blue. No, don't worry, it's fine. I'm it just happens happy. all the time, every time you're on a diet or whatever, it always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm just happy the fact that you've lost during that time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So, how many pounds would you like to lose by next week? Um... Because I, I, I always think too drastic, I think, and I, I think I kind of be like harsh on myself and try and do too big. <laughs> I don't well, know. I would say, let's say two pounds. Okay. What do you think? I'll mess up the aim for like three or four, but I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be happy with two. If you get three or four, then fine. But as I said, we should have had two losses the last week. Then, yeah. um, you know, I'm happy with one or two. But saying that, you know, the first week you had um, St. David's Day, this yeah. week you had your meals out, so you may do even better than normal next week, so we will see. Yeah, and I've been to the gym today as well. Oh, yeah, well done, yeah. even better. <laughs> Fab. My partner's took a tin opener to work, so I'm kind of like knifing away through a hot dog tin at the moment. Oh. <laughs> looks a bit cynical so i'm trying to hide it you know? this is the this is how to be a real mum you see you're winning at being a mum you really are <laughs> fab okay right any other questions you'd like to ask 
Um, no, I just need to remember to drink water because I'm starting to slack a bit again. Like, I'm trying, but then I end up yeah. getting to drink anything. And for three days, I left my water bottle at work. So oh, no. It went downhill really fast. <laughs> but I've got right. it back now. So I, have had, I have had, I think, about 7.50 today. So I think I'm all right today. Right. So definitely keep that water up because you know it helps. Yeah, it does definitely. Fab. Right. Well, thank you very much. I will speak to you next week. Speak to you next week. Thank right. you. Thank you, Terry. Bye. Thank you. Bye.